Hello fellow modelers, Bruce here. A couple months ago, probably late fall, early winter, I uh, bought a couple of uh, larger uh, craftsman kits in HO scale from a seller on eBay. Um, reasonably priced, but uh, still, you know, a, a decent expenditure. And uh, when I received the package, there were a note, and there was a note, and they said, uh, oh, I tossed in a few extras for you, and uh, which I was surprised. And uh, I'm going to just show you those extras, because I'm going to be building one of them, or finish building one of them uh, now, and you'll soon see it running on the layout. There were some small detail items that were among the extras, a car and um, you know, car kit and HO scale and a few other things. But there were two pieces of rolling stock. One was from 1960. Um, it was a uh, reefer that was advertising for United Model Distributors. And uh, according to this on the side, they well, for plastic models of boats and cars and airplanes, model railroading, radio control, uh, model motoring, which looks like uh, maybe radio control cars, rocketry, crafts, electronics. I may or may not build that. Um, if I do build it, I might spray paint the whole thing into a different color and get rid of the advertising. I haven't decided yet what to do with that, but that's circa 1960. The other piece of rolling stock was in this red box, and written on the end is said, Michigan Rail Club Caboose. Uh, I don't know if you can read that, because uh, it's pencil on red, but inside was a uh, silver and black caboose. And it does indeed say Michigan Railroad Club. Maybe zoom in a little bit on it if I remember to zoom back out. So, Michigan Railroad Club, 35th anniversary. And uh, established in 1937. So, doing some quick arithmetic. If they started in 1937 and they're 35 years old when this was issued, this was issued in 1972. Uh, inside, oh, and it had been started, the under frame is all detailed, the couplers are on, trucks are on, uh, the roof is still removable, but the window glazing is in, um, roof walk is on. What still needs to be done is uh, smokestack. Let's see if I come down here. This is what still needs to be done. The smoke jack, the brake wheels, a couple more um, wire railings, two on one end, one on the other, and the ladders, roof, la roof ladders. And uh, the instructions are in there, and it was made by model die casting. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to finish this up. In short order, I weighed it about four inches long so NMRA suggestion would be one ounce for the car and a half ounce additional for every inch uh, of length so four inches half an ounce for each of those four that's two more ounces plus the initial one ounce for the car three ounces it's coming in just under two ounces so I will put some weight into it which I can do right on the uh, floor of the caboose inside since the roof is still removable. Get it up to weight, add these uh, extra details, and uh, yeah, you'll see it uh, running the rails. And again, very much appreciated. Uh, the gentleman I bought those kits from certainly did not have to do this. You know, perhaps because selling advertising cars like this uh, reefer and the uh, club car you know, are not the easiest things to sell and get much money for. I just thought he'd toss them in. But, you know, I have a number of uh, anniversary-type cars running on the rails, so this one will be a welcome addition. So, all righty. Um, as I said, I'll show it to you when it's done and uh, do a little short ending to this video. Talk to you then. 
Just a quick update. I have installed uh, two handrails on uh, one end of the caboose and I realized that I was short a handrail. We have uh, another one that was in the box laying it here on that uh, paper. I think you can see it. And uh, taking out my calibers I determined that that was uh, 0 0.022, 22 thousandths uh, in diameter. So I went to my stash of uh, brass wire from uh, Detail Associates and indeed I had some of their number 2507 brass wire in uh, 0 0.022 diameter. And so I am bending myself a, uh, a new handrail, just using the other one as the pattern for dimensions and I will uh, snip off this long end, try it out and if it's good I will um, dip it in some black in it which is kind of like gun bluing uh, to give it a, a blacker color instead of uh, bright brass. So uh, do that and I can install them on this end. Okay, moving onward. Ah, uh, just a little behind the scenes look at what I use to weight my cars. And the answer is just about anything. I have quite a collection of old nuts of different sizes and uh, use some gel type super glue. The nice thing is you can center them over the uh, screws that are coming up from the trucks in case you ever have to replace those with something a little longer. It's not going to interfere with the weights. Balance left to right and you're good to go. All right, talk to you. Well, there she is. And a dandy little caboose it is, too. Um, all I had to do was uh, fashion one uh, handrail on uh, one of the end platforms. I had to uh, add the weights. I put some KD metal wheels uh, into the trucks. And uh, other than that, everything was in the kit. It was about three quarters built when I got it, so it wasn't too bad finishing it up. And uh, yeah, it, it's quite a nice uh, caboose. It's got uh, you know, no molded on, uh, handrails or anything it's all uh, all made out of wire so it's uh, a step above some of my other cabooses I'll tell you that so the only thing still missing is the marker lights were not in the box anymore and uh, I'll just order some from either Cal scale or, Pre or precision scale and uh, add those yet um, and then you will see this thing running behind trains uh, coming down the road here. So yeah, I, as, as I've mentioned before, I have no <clears throat> problem running commemorative cars. Uh, this one for the Michigan Railroad Club's 35th anniversary way back in, uh, what did we figure out, 1973? And this is the first time it's going to hit the rails. Uh, how about you? Do you uh, feel comfortable running club cars, uh, you know, convention cars, commemorative cars, or are, you, are the only cars on your railroads those that are lettered for other railroads that uh, make sense being there? Let me know in the comments. Uh, in the meantime, I'll finish this video up with uh, a little snippet showing this running behind uh, a locomotive and a few cars and we'll call this video good. See you then. Okay, we'll see this uh, caboose in action right now and uh, some of the rest of this uh, little train you've seen on my channel before if you're faithful watchers. I built this uh, Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe saddle tank 060 from a kit. It's a model die casting uh, roundhouse kit. I did two videos on that build. And behind it are three log cars that I built in a video. Um, basically right from the trucks up. The trucks we made were uh, Tishy uh, arch bar uh, trucks 
and uh, showed you how I put those together and then made the loads. And then, of course, the caboose at the end that we just finished up. The two coal cars are old friends from my old layout back in New Jersey. Enjoy! have it. You'll see this caboose again, uh, perhaps once the uh, marker lights are on. So as always, if you enjoyed this little video and uh, on this freebie that I really uh, am happy to have on my layout, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not done so already, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll be talking to you again soon.